Hey guys, what's up? It's Juno. Now, I'm going to be doing a conversation uh, with you guys real quick about the uh, Juno Out of Context, the Juno Clips, and the Juno Clips channel, as well as going into a little bit of things about Twitch, Twitter, TikTok, the main YouTube channel, and the new YouTube channel that's going to be coming in to sort of fill the void between, you know, all the other fun little bits and pieces in between. So... As you've probably seen on YouTube, I've been doing a couple of experiments with taking highlights from my Twitch streams and putting them on my main channel. That will still happen. Uh, they're highlights, so they're not the full stream, but what I'm going to be doing is so that I'm creating a new channel completely separate from the main channel, where it's just going to be all the VODs. Like, any stream I make, I'm going to get a VOD for it, then... Uh, once that is downloaded onto my machine, no intro, no outro, just straight upload to YouTube itself once that is downloaded. So that's what's going to happen there. Uh, I am working on some new channel page art for the main channel, so I can move right from the uh, militaristic look of the channel and change it into something about the VTuber avatar that I have. I'm still working on that, so that's going to take a bit more time. Sorry about how long it's taking, but... You know, it's hard to work on that kind of stuff when I'm also in university all the time. <laughs> but regardless, so, Twitter, that's something that's going to be interesting to talk about. So on Twitter, I do have my own Twitter thing, and there's 50 followers on it, not really big, but the uh, reason why I say it's interesting is, you'll see me uh, sort of acting out of my main because here's the thing, the main channel is literally just me. Twitch, I have... I put a little bit more personality into the avatar itself, as you can probably tell by some of the highlights that I've put up. So there's a little more of a personality into the avatar itself, but at least here it's going to mainly be just me being me with the avatar, and trying to match to the best of my ability with my speech patterns and all that. But regardless, so the game plan with that is so... <laughs> With the VODs, I do like them, but they always get deleted after about a week. So what I'm going to be doing is downloading them and then re-uploading them directly to YouTube to the uh, VODs channel. And which will be linked in my uh, stuff here sometime today, I'm guessing. But if it isn't, remind me by putting a comment at the bottom of this video saying, Hey, you forgot to do the thing. I'll be like, damn it. Alright, I'll do it now, but, yeah, so, the new VOD channel, that's just going to be exclusively for VODs, no intro, no outro, anywhere ranging between hour long to, like, three hour long stuff, so, you'll probably see that sometime soon. There is no exact upload time for it, but it'll basically be directly after a Twitch stream. So, no exact upload times for it, but it exists for a reason. There will be names such as... It will just be the name of the stream. So, <laughs> and all that fun stuff, so don't worry about that. Um, hmm, what else was there? Oh, yes, yeah, TikTok and all that fun stuff. So, on TikTok, I mainly do slideshow stuff there. So, if you want to see slideshows of me asking questions and stuff, then go there, follow it, whatever. Uh, on Twitch, as you already know, I'm on my university schedule, not my summer schedule. Basically, the difference is I stream a lot less during the uh, university schedule. It may be like five, well, well, one to five times a week. Because while well, university exists and it's a lot of fucking work, especially when you're in your in two advanced classes, and they give you like tons of homework to do, so. Uh, yeah, you can deal with that fun stuff. So, the next thing I wanted to quickly touch on this is very, very fast. Right before the end of the video is uh, how everything is going to be working with the VOD channel. So the VOD channel is going to be strictly for stream VODs. So, right when I'm done a Twitch stream, I'll be downloading them as I already said, and then uploading them to the VOD channel. I'm going to have a direct link to the VOD channel in the channel pages, and also on the main screen. 
next thing next for that. So with my university schedule, as I already mentioned, it's one to five streams a week, uh, depending on how busy I get, but there will at least always be one. Uh, the maximum amount of time during my university schedule is an hour and a half to two hours for maximum, and then 50 minutes to an hour for minimum. So just so you guys know, it's like 50 minutes to two hours, basically, for um, minimum and maximum amount of time. Sometimes I can go over it, sometimes I can't. It all depends on how much work I have for university at the time. So, <laughs> I'm still trying to figure everything out at the same time. So don't mind me, but next thing next. So, what I'm also going to be doing, and this is a bit of a crazy idea, but with the VOD channel, you guys will get the full stream, and anyone can take parts of the VODs and make them into their own video. With the main channel, you can't really do that. Reason why I have the main channel doing as it is. Like, if it's a highlight, you can take it, but if it's the original PlayStation content like this, for example, you can't. <laughs> Reason why I do that is because, and it's not even about like cloud or anything like that, it's just literally about. I just don't want people taking my content unless it's from my streams, and then people can take the content. That's the rule I have. And if you're wondering why I have that rule, it's because I've seen people take my stuff before, and I don't want it to happen anymore. So, you know. And I mean, like, the new stuff, like the VTuber stuff, not, like, the old stuff. Like, don't take the damn VTuber stuff. If you do, I backhand you. <laughs> but, yeah, so reason why I have that in place is, again, so people don't take it from me without, you know, doing anything about it. Hence why in the About section, if you read that carefully, there's rules and guidelines. And because I'm a law student, I know the fun stuff. Anyway, next thing is next. And then the, and actually it's the last thing too. So, VOD channel, you guys can clip anything from the VODs from there. All the VODs are staying there. Once they're downloaded, like, Twitch will have the VODs up for maybe, like, a week. But then the full, like, highlight of the VOD or whatever the hell is literally going to just be on YouTube. So, expect that. So, if you just are here for the stream VODs or the VODs in general, then you can go check that out uh, later today. As it is War Thunder Wednesday, and this is 10.30 in the fucking morning when I'm filming this. Send me mental help in that sense, but, uh, yeah, so, once that whole VOD channel is set up, uh, go check it out, if you're here for VODs, or stream clips, or whatever, cause, the highlights of the streams are gonna be staying here, but, the actual VODs, like, the whole stream, are gonna be going over to the VOD channel, so, you know, like, <laughs> 50 minute videos, 2 hour videos, the whole thing will be going over there. So, regardless, everything like that will happen. But, yeah, I'm pretty excited about this new channel. I'm excited to see what happens with it, I should say. And, we'll see how things play out from there. Because, hopefully, what I'm hoping for is that People who watch me on Twitch will then come over to YouTube, see like, oh, he has a VODs channel, okay, I'm going to click on that, and then they can watch all the stream listings. But, anyway, catch you guys later. Bye-bye.